Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general forecast for February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. And we're going to take whatever energy comes out. It could be love, it could be general, it could be about anything. So whatever comes out, comes out. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. It may not be for everybody. So please keep that in mind. Don't make it, uh, don't try to make it fit if it's not fitting, um, in your life right now, then it's not your message. Hold out for a future message. Maybe those will resonate for you. And um, could be past, present, future kind of energy also. So please keep that in mind. Could be something going on with someone around you, but may also be affecting you in some way. So please keep that in mind also. And this is for sun, moon, rising. Um, depending if we get love or not, uh, Jupiter, Venus, if you have Sag in any of those placements. So Let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great uh, holiday season. Happy New Year. All right. So let's see what's going on. And I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go and watch past readings, links to your playlists are down below in the description box. Love and general playlist. Also, decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to send gift, a gift or... Um, tip or donate or anything like that. All that information is below. And I also will pin some of that information to the top comment in the comments below. So with all that being said, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign element planet. See what comes out here. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? Planet, sign, element at this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much for Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. And we have Virgo. I Did I get Virgo for you in a past reading? I don't remember. But um, so we have an earth sign. So you can have Virgo in your chart somewhere. You could know someone has Virgo in their chart or someone around you could be a Virgo. So if not, totally fine. So let's see. Virgo in the tarot does represent the hermit energy, which is about going in, doing some introspection, some soul journey work, healing work, finding your way, your path, your light. So however that resonates for you. So let's see what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Sagittarius, is pull like an opening message for you. And then I'll pull another one for the energy at the time for you at this time, clarifying that with the tarot. And, oh, I forgot to put my thing on there. Okay. Clarifying that with the tarot. And then we'll look at the actual situation. We'll look at advice for the situation, possible outcome of the situation. And then we'll get closing messages with that deck there. So let's get an, get an opening message here for Sagittarius. Opening message for Sagittarius, please. So we have the solar plexus chakra which is about, um, and this is three. So three is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. But the solar plexus is, um, I just want to uh, read a little bit about that because I'm not a chakra expert. And that is your second chakra. Or is that your third? Hmm, let's see. The base chakra, the sacral chakra. That's your third chakra. So... Do, do, do. Huh. Okay. Oh, I don't see it in here. But anyway, that is about, that's your identity. That's who you are. That's your soul purpose, your soul mission. Um, it's all about your soul. So we'll see how that uh, means for you. So let's see, it's your identity, your originality, it's who you are. Okay, so let's see what your energy is at this time, Sagittarius. We have new beginnings, so this is the Fool card. So this is resetting at zero. This is starting over, starting fresh, having a new start, jumping in, taking a leap of faith. So taking a leap of faith into your true identity, who you truly are, and your soul mission and purpose. So let's see here. We have recognition and reward. So this is the three of pentacles energy. 
So this is about teamwork, collaboration. We got three, three. So if three is significant for you, and then Virgo six, Sag nine, that's divisible by three. So three may be a special number for you. But recognition reward, um, you know, that's about teamwork, collaboration, putting in the dedicated dedicated effort and the hard work, and learning something new, and then being rewarded for that work. So. Let's see what's going on here. Taking a new beginning. So you could have been, you know, learning something new. You could have got a, a reward and award, a scholarship, a certificate, uh, something here, a degree. And uh, now you're able to take a leap of faith and uh, living out like your soul mission, your soul purpose, something you've always wanted to do with the solar plexus uh, energy. So taking a leap of faith and a new start. So let's see what's going on for you. And that Virgo energy could just be if you've done, you know, that inner journey, inner journey and soul work, like with the uh, Virgo energy, the hermit energy, really going in, reflecting, okay, what I truly, truly want to do, doing that deep down soul searching work. That could be it also if you don't have Virgo in your chart or a Virgo around you. So let's see, let's clarify, I think I have to shuffle these this way. Let's clarify what this is about with the new beginnings. Okay. So we have the chariot and the king of fire. So the king of fire is your energy, Leo Sag Aries, and the chariot is about moving forward with a, lot, with a lot of drive, ambition, balance, energy, and being very successful and victorious. So moving ahead in your fire energy, a lot of drive, ambition. So two cards of fire, ambition, drive, go-getter kind of energy. Yet yeah, moving forward with success and victory. So in balance. So moving forward, some sort of new beginning here. Following your, your soul, what you truly want to do in life now. You're able to reset, restart at zero because of some kind of accomplishment that you worked hard at. Okay, so... It's like your head's enlightened there. You've got like the sun like radiating around your head. So your heart is open. You're enlightened. You're moving forward. Drive, ambition, success, balance. All right. To this new leap of faith. So let's get more energy here. Two of earth. So maybe a time here feeling, you know, a little bit imbalanced um, kind of energy. That's two of pentacles, you know, finding your balance by, you know, making choices, decisions to balance yourself out. King of air. So you got to have air in your chart also. Or this is, you know, now having clarity. Truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you. This could be wise counsel also. It could be, you know, it could be a lawyer, a judge. It could be a counselor. It could be an advisor. It could be anybody. If not, it could be your energy of just really um, thinking clearly now. Having truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS uh, kind of energy. So let's see. Four of ear. So that's resting, rejuvenating uh, kind of energy. So I feel like you had to do a lot of juggling to get where you are. You know, and maybe you sought after advice from wise counsel, advisors, or something like that mentor even and i feel like you worked hard you drive you know you're going forward you're working hard you know you're getting or you will get the recognition and reward that you deserve and you're working hard working hard moving forward you know feeling imbalanced at times but you have that go get or drive energy with the king of wands to go after what you want feeling at times maybe a little you know four of swords energy like you need to rest recuperate so make Make sure you're taking care of yourself if you're sleeping properly. Um, that kind of energy also, if you're working hard right now. Make sure you're getting enough rest. It's all about rest, rejuvenation, recuperating, spending quality time alone. Um, it's also about thinking, contemplating, healing energy. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is here. So the Hierophant. So being very, very, very dedicated here, moving forward, doing what's moral, just and right, does speak of commitment, uh, marriage, um, doesn't have to be, but, you know, structure. So 
and fives are about change. So I feel like whatever change you're striving for, you're very dedicated to this moving forward. It's very structured. I feel like you're very structured. <laughs> like you have mental clarity. You're very structured. You're very determined. You're moving forward. But don't forget to rest because at times I think you may feel imbalanced. But you do have that recognition uh, you deserve coming in. So what else here? Queen of Fire. So we have the King and Queen of Fire. So it's usually a soulmate couple here. So you could have a fellow fire sign around you or know another fire sign that is around you. Oh, this is just double your energy. Whether you're a male or female watching this, it doesn't matter. So that could just be double your energy of being very committed to this structure, to this change, to whatever you're working, striving for, having that clarity of, you know, moving forward with balance, driving ambition to success and victory. Ten of Waters. So there's Ten of Cups energy, total fulfillment, joy, happiness in every single way. Every single way. So, hmm, yeah, so you, you, you're going towards your happiness and your joy and your fulfillment. That's coming in for you. Messenger of Water. So this could be um, some, some Page of Cups. So that is... Let me get these how I want them. So it could be apologies. It could be communication, loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of communication. Um, again, apologies or something like that. So let's get one more, see what's going on here. Or that could be you just communicating now to those around you in a more like loving, caring, nurturing, peaceful kind of way because you see the Ten of Cups coming in for you. The Empress. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. So, yeah, so you could be on, well on your way to becoming that that boss, that leader, that whatever you're wanting to be here. This is a birth of something new. The Empress energy. Some of you, I feel... Um, Actually, you know what? I was supposed to get four cards up here, and I've got three. So um, bear with me here. So I'm putting this up here. So Okay, so now I feel like, yeah, being very committed on your journey here, having that mental clarity, times feeling imbalanced as you're moving forward, you know, with all that ambition, don't forget to rest. Take care of yourself as you're moving forward. Again, I feel like this is your energy again. You have, you know, fulfillment coming in for you in every single way. And I feel like, you know, this messenger of water could just be, you know, being in a lo more loving, caring, compassionate energy. You could be, you know, going after entre entrepreneurship or just um, working for yourself or a brand new beginning here. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. deck upside down yes it is okay oh so we got your card patience temperance sagittarius so be patient i think i've been getting that a lot in your readings that you know that could be that two pentacles energy of like really really trying to like over do things like over juggle things you know because you're getting impatient you just want it to happen already so you're doing more than what is necessary to try to make it happen happen sooner but this is telling you just to temper your energy this is about patience, balance again. So I do feel like, you know, know your value, your worth, that you do have what, what is worth, what you're worthy of is coming to you. This Empress energy, Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. That you will be the person that you want to be, just to have that tempering, patient energy. And the temperance angel always brings in something divinely guided for you that is meant to be. And that could be the messenger of water. There's that spiritual divine energy trying to tell you, you know, your ten of cups is coming. You will have what you deserve. Don't give up, but yet have patience and temper your energy because success and victory is coming for you. You will be getting the recognition, having that mental clarity. Or again, that could be a um, wise counsel, mentor, or something like that. Uh, let's see. So let's get... I'm not really getting a love situation. I mean, I, it could be because we do have the Divine Feminine here, which is the Empress. 
We have a matching couple with the king and queen of fire, which is definitely a soulmate energy here. So this isn't about um, moving forward in like your career or something like that. If you know, you're wondering about a love situation, um, somebody could fi could finally be recognizing that another person is their soulmate. Now they want to take that leap of faith with this person. They want to move forward victoriously after juggling around the idea for a little bit, finally having that mental clarity after thinking, contemplating here with the four of swords, um, could lead to commitment here of some kind with the hierophant there. It is going to bring in total happiness, joy, fulfillment here with the ten of cups. And that could be that message coming in, you extending it out or coming into you, messages of love to a divine feminine or, um, if you are a divine feminine, sending those messages out and being very patient with this person or with yourself moving forward, balancing out your energies. So different, a couple different scenarios here. So however it resonates for you, um, Sagittarius. So let's get advice for you. Advice for you. I feel like you're moving forward victoriously in something here, either towards love or a new opportunity. So we have the patriot year. So there's that truthful communication coming in. This is your advice. So needing uh, honest, truthful communication here. Nine of water, nine of cups. So wish fulfillment in every single way. Wishes and dreams coming true. Happiness and joy. Nine of ten of cups. So and the page of water. So definitely love communication, happiness and joy. Wish fulfillment. And then fulfillment in every single way with the Ten of Cups energy. Oh, this stuck together. Okay, let's get a couple more. Six of Earth, so balance. So there will be equal give and take here. Something very balanced. And we have balance here, we have balance here. This is patience and balance, tempering your energy. Um, kind of, And then we have equal give and take here with the Six of Pentacle energy. Let's get one more. The moon energy. So, you know, really maybe not sure here how things will go. Feeling uncertain, unsure, not seeing the path clearly um, kind of energy. But this is your advice. So your advice is if you want equal give and take, something that's balanced, that is your wish fulfillment, there has to be open, honest, truthful communication even though you don't see the path clearly, just know that your wish fulfillment is here. So whether this is, um, and the page of air can also like be doing research, learning something new. So if you're learning something new to get reward, recognition, um, degrees or whatever you're doing here, uh, it is coming in for you. Or if it's a relationship or a co um, connection, there has to be open communication, honest communication balance, reciprocity, wish fulfillment. The path isn't clear, you can't see it, but I don't think you need to worry about that. It can also represent deep feelings, listening to your intuition. So let's see possible outcome here. A couple scenarios here, Sagittarius. So please take what resonates for you. So what is a possible outcome here? So we do have the solar plexus chakra, which is a about, you know, like your soul. So this definitely could be a soulmate energy here. Like you could feel it deep within your soul that, okay, I think this is my person, my soulmate. Needing to communicate that uh, with the king of swords, the page of ear, the uh, page of swords. So let's see what the possible outcome, whatever your scenario is, you're striving towards something. Ace of ear. So there's a brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, um, open, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving, telling it like it is, epiphanies, aha moments, standing up for yourself. So, and that usually is the Ace of Swords, which is the sword of victory and success. So, victorious new beginning here, based on truth and clarity. And there you are again, showing up in your reading, Sagittarius, with the Wheel of Fortune. So, divine energy. Um, energy here, fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, and my throat's getting closed up. It's been happening a lot in your readings. 
<clears throat> so I definitely feel like there needs to be communication here of some kind. Um, but again, fortune's wheel. So this is fate, destiny, thing, something meant to be, something going in a better direction, divine timing. To a brand new beginning here based on truth and clarity and victory. And the five of earth. So, you know, feeling kind of abandoned, left out, on the, out in the cold. You may be worried about monetary lack. Um, you may be worrying about monetary lack, maybe with a new person. Maybe you're hesitant about that because of monetary lack or you're not where you want to be in life. Or um, you're worried about your monetary, your financial status right now as you're going into a new beginning. But the fortune wheel is here to tell you that everything will be fine. Everything will get better. And you have this victorious new beginning, whether it's career or a new love or a new connection. Whatever you're striving for is divinely guided. And it's actually something that's meant for you with the Wheel of Fortune here. So let's see. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Eight of Water. So this is walking away from something no longer serving you and walking to something more fulfilling kind of energy. And we have the Page of Fire, Messenger of Fire. So this is good news coming in, going out. Very fiery, passionate communication here. Two of Cups energy, Two of Water, Soulmate Union or being totally aligned uh, with whatever you're striving for, whether it's a soulmate, whether it's career, opportunity, being totally aligned with that energy coming in for you. The three of earth, three of pentacles, so working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise kind of energy. And we have the same energy here. So we have confirmation of that. A spirit just showed me the ace of cups under there by accident. So brain of beginning in love also, right there, love begins. So. And then we have the Nine of Swords, so stress, worry, fear, anxiety, nervous energy. Queen of Water, so this can talk about love, emotions, feelings, um, intuitive energy. So definitely there are feelings and emotions here moving forward. But there's stress, anxiety, but wanting to work together or learning something new. Soulmate union or being in line and coming into unity with what is meant for you, however it resonates for you. Good news coming in for you, so you may be getting a new offer or this could be passionate, fiery communication between two people. Walking away from something but walking to something more fulfilling for you, so you could be leaving one job and going to a more fulfilling job or career or, you know, leaving one person that's no longer fulfilling you and walk, walking to your true soulmate divine counterpart here that is be a more fulfilling um connection for you so however these energies resonate for you so let's see besides virgo we have let's see leo sag aries we have let's see we have over here we have cancer leo sag aries libra gemini aquarius uh what was this over here Taurus, let's see, uh, your energy here, Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces, uh, the Empress energy is Libra Taurus, your energy again here is Sagittarius, G Lemina, uh, <laughs> Gemini Libra Aquarius, so those are the other signs that I see, so how it resonates for you, so we're going to get some closing messages here for you, oops, Sagittarius, so I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who have supported my channel. I don't know if I said that already, whether you've tipped or donated or reached out for personal reading, uh, a new subscriber, whatever you've done, supported the channel. I truly, truly do appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. Couldn't do it without you guys. And if you do like how I read Sagittarius, especially if you're new, you can check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. And if you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. If you do, thank you. So let's get some extra ending messages for you here, Sagittarius, on your situation. You're taking a leap of faith into something, whether it's a new career or a soulmate. So it's divinely guided for you, whatever you're going for. All right. So let's, okay. So we have the high priestess energy here. Number two, owl. This is Cancer or Pisces. This is a time to pause and reflect. Not to take action. Trust your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. 
So that could be that Virgo energy here of um, not to take action. You know, the Virgo energy of the hermit kind of goes in hermit mode. They don't take action. They just pause, reflect, contemplate kind of energy. And listening, the high priest is all about your gut, your intuition, and listening to that energy, your higher knowing from within, your wise counsel within yourself, and just trusting that. And the high priestess doesn't say much. They're kind of quiet. They don't reveal, you know, what they know, their secrets. They kind of go into hermit mode and they kind of um, stay quiet kind of energy. So let's see what else for you. So now we have awakening here. We have the hangman. So we have the hangman. Did we have that? Oh, we got the moon there. I thought we had the hangman. Okay, we didn't. So this is the hangman, awakening, giraffe. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. So if things have been on a pause, a break, things haven't been moving as quickly as you want them to. And I felt that energy over here, the two, two pentacles, like trying to balance things out or make deci decisions and judgments and trying to really like move things forward faster than they're meant to and like juggling too much. It really caused an imbalance here and then maybe it caused things to kind of halt but things will pick up again and that's also a spiritual awakening awakening of some kind gaining new perspectives uh enlightenment kind of energy all right so awakening pause and a break and you know the hermit energy is almost almost the same not quite but and now we have strength. So definitely could be dealing with a Leo here because we did have two fire signs. So Messiah, Lion, and Lamb. True strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power and courage. So, and we have 11 here, which is half the twin flame number. So you definitely, because we have divine counterparts here and the Empress. We didn't get the Emperor, but... Um, <clears throat> We have divine counterparts with the king and queen of wands to fire signs. And we have fire sign here, Leo, uh, with the strength card. So a very strong connection here could be. Or this is you being very strong, courageous, and brave. That ambitious go-getter, having a lot of willpower, determination, moving forward. And whatever you are moving forward in. So we have the two of summer here, love bird. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. So this is about soulmate union, two of cups energy. So I did feel that, um, especially with the two fire signs here. So definitely some of you, this is about a uh, soulmate union. Some of you, you're aligning with your true purpose in life. And moving forward in that direction so how and really listen to your gut and your intuition and do that deep down soul searching work and don't forget to rest and get proper um relaxation time sagittarius because your new beginning is coming victorious success what's meant for you whether it's a new career leveling up your education or coming into union with a soulmate or it could be all it's all divinely guided for you with the wheel here Okay, Sagittarius, so sending you many light, love, and blessings. Best of luck to you. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.